Are you trying to write your own workout plan? You don't know where to start, but you can't afford a trainer? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to write your own workout plan so you succeed. Welcome back ladies, hi, if you haven't been here before, my name is Tabitha and I'm here to help all you busy ladies juggling jobs, careers, kiddos with no real time to exercise. I'm gonna give you exercise tips, tricks, routines, and even product reviews to help make exercise a part of your life. And before we get started today, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Today we are talking about how to write your own workout plan. Yes, it is a little bit complicated to write workout plans, but I assure you, after I give you these tools and tricks, you can write your own plan. And I am definitely a trainer that is a believer in sharing information. I wanna give you everything. I like, I truly believe that knowledge is power and that everybody should be empowered to learn and do things for themselves. So today we're gonna talk about how you can create your own workout plan just by being aware, really. Step number one is being true to yourself and taking pictures. You might say, taking pictures, what does that have to do with building me a plan? Well, before you build a plan, you have to know where you're starting at. And sometimes you really can't get a good sense of where you're starting at until you take some pictures. Pictures are key. And now, as far as pictures go, you wanna take one front, side, back, and your opposite side. Another thing you wanna add on to that is taking your measurements. You wanna write everything down from your chest, waist, belly button, iliac crest, butt, each thigh, your arm even, and your weight. So all of this is going to give you a really good idea about what you look like right now, where your body stands, and how to achieve those goals, and basically where you want to take your body. Number two, second thing you need to do is critique. You need to critique every bit and be critical, okay? We're going for the body that you want. You wanna be critical. You wanna sit there and say, oh, I would really like to lose some of this extra fat under my arm here. You know, maybe you can see extra fat sticking out somewhere, maybe not. You know, oh, I would really, really like to have nicer deltoids. I really want that nice rounded shoulder on the top. Maybe you wanna fix that slouch that you have and pull those shoulders back up. Maybe you want nicer pecs. Maybe you want a bigger butt. All sorts of things, okay? Maybe you wanna lose some of that fat around your belly. You name it, point it out. I want you to print out those pictures even. Put them in your fitness journal and draw arrows to each piece of that body that you want to fix and do it. Get every piece that you wanna fix in there. It's really important for you to see your progress. Now, as a personal trainer, this is what I do to my clients. I might not be telling them exactly every piece that I'm pointing at to fix, but in my mind, I'm taking notes. I'm looking at my person. I do all their measurements, 100%. I always take pictures of my clients. And then I pinpoint, okay, she needs to fix her shoulders. Her shoulders are bad. Oop, when she squats, her knees roll in, so we need to fix this. All right, she has a little bit of a back issue. Okay, I see that, we gotta fix that. These are all things I observe as a trainer. So you might not be able to go to somebody and have someone point out issues that you've had over the years that have maybe been because of injury or just not lifting, you know? We all have something that we need to fix. I still have things that I need to fix, lots of things I need to fix, actually. So nobody's perfect, but that's why you wanna pinpoint and you wanna say these are the things, all right? Picture, draw those arrows, and write all the spots that you are trying to fix on your body. Number three is we have to be realistic here. How much time do you actually have to commit to exercise? Can you work out five days a week? Do you wanna work out seven? Do you wanna do two a days? Are you gonna put in an hour a day of exercise or are you trying to do two 20 minute increments a day? What do you have available to exercise? And that's a real question. Training someone in a gym or my home gym, I would literally train clients two times a week for 30 minutes and they would get results. All right, you do not need an hour, hour and a half in the gym to get results. Depending on your goals, 
the time and the amount of time you actually need to train is different. Now, if you're training for a marathon, you have to go out there and run a ton. If you're training for a bikini competition, like I've done in the past, then you may need to do two times a day. But if you're just trying to change some aspects of your body, take it in increments. You don't need to do it all at once, but let's be realistic the time that you have now. Maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and you only have 20 minutes a day. Maybe that's all you got. Maybe you can make it in two 10-minute sessions a day or three or four 10-minute sessions a day. Trust me, you can change your body in that amount of time. Maybe you can dedicate a full 30 minutes five days a week. Jot that down. Make sure you know how much time you actually have per day to exercise and per week because that's going to be the key to setting up your training plan. Number four, we have your pictures. You've critiqued yourself. We know how much time you have to exercise. We want to start looking up exercises, okay? Not workouts, because you're making your own workout. A workout is a bunch of exercises, right? So you wanna look up the exercises to build the chest and the muscles involved. You wanna look at the exercise to build that bicep, to fit, make those nice deltoids, to build the booty. Look up those exercises, and that's where we're gonna start, okay? All the parts of that body that you wanna fix, are the exercises we need. So you can just type it into Google. Exercises to build a butt. Enter. Ta-da! Tons of exercises will pop up. Exercises to build my biceps. Bam! Tons of exercises pop up. So there you go. There are all your exercises that we need. Now, one other piece to this puzzle. Are you gonna be working out at a gym? Or are you gonna be working out at home? Do you have minimal equipment at home? Do you have a whole garage gym? Or do you only have a set of dumbbells? It is okay, I promise you. Do not feel like you have to go out there and buy the latest and greatest of equipment because you don't. I'm telling you with just two sets of dumbbells, you can get a lot done. All right, I don't want you to worry about super complicated moves either. I don't want you to worry about the reps and the sets and the how many times do I need to do this? Well, what if this weight's too light? What if this one's too heavy? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. It will all be okay and I will tell you why. Number five, we are going to create our plan. Whether you are doing it at the gym or you're doing it at home, everybody has to start somewhere, okay? And if this is your first time creating your plan, I'm telling you when I first started exercising in high school, I, my plans were simple. Like I went in and do biceps, abs, shoulders, and uh, I ran, you know, simple things like that. I did not do fancy stuff. We all have to start somewhere and learn from the basics, all right? And the reason I say that the reps and the weights and all of this doesn't, doesn't matter right now is because you're new to this. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. And somebody who's new to this and you've never exercised before, you are going to still succeed just doing it on your own because your body is going to react to a new program that you implement. So let me tell you how I would create my plan and then you, and I'll give you suggestions on how you may want to create your plan. You can choose to do whole body workouts every single day if you're choosing. Let's just say, for example, you're gonna do five days a week for 30 minutes a day. You could choose to do a whole body plan for five days a week, 30 minutes a day. Or you can break that apart. And I would lean on the side of breaking it apart because when you start a new plan, your body's gonna hurt. So if you keep doing it every single day, your whole body, you're not gonna have a chance to recover. So I would break my body parts apart, which I normally do. And I like to do opposing muscle groups or push-pull muscles. So push-ups is your chest, and then you can work your back that same day. Or you can do your chest and your triceps. Or you can do biceps and triceps, shoulders and back. I always leave leg day as leg day. Legs are huge muscle groups and you can do so many different things for them. But you also, another part I will add in a second, you also might work your legs kind of every day. So 
I like to leave my leg days like full on legs and booty exercises for strict leg and booty days. And they are big must, um, fat burners. So your lower body is gonna burn you a ton of fat. So say I was doing a Monday through Friday, 30 minutes a day, I might start off with my um, legs. Maybe I do legs, quads and hamstrings. So Monday we do quads and hamstrings. Maybe Tuesday we do shoulders and back. Shoulders and back on Tuesday. Wednesday, let's do chest and abs on Wednesday. Thursday, let's do a full booty workout. And then on Friday, we'll do biceps and triceps. You see how I kind of broke it up a little bit? Now, you have a whole five days of exercises. If you wanna add a bonus one on the weekend, do a full body workout, totally okay. Now, if you are doing uh, more than five days a week, say you're doing like seven days a week, cause that's, some people do that. I, I used to be, I used to be there before I became a mom, yeah. Um, then you might break it up a little bit more to give extra rest for ex different muscles. But what I just broke down for you is plenty enough. You can get such a good burn, fat loss, and body change with just that. You can get results. And I used to train them, like I said, only two times a week for 30 minutes a day, and then I sent them home with a few more workouts that they would do during the week, and we saw some serious results. So it is possible. Don't think, ah, 30 minutes, oh, that's not enough. Well, what about jogging on the treadmill? Do you have a treadmill? You don't need it. You can go jog outside, but I will tell you another little secret that I like to keep, and the way I train myself and my clients. All right, so um, what am I, 10 months postpartum right now? I am not in the best shape that I'd like to be okay, but pretty decent. Um, I'm not gonna complain. I've had three kids at this point. I'm not gonna complain at the shape that I'm in. But I run every once in a while. Yeah, here and there. I need to run, I need to run more, but my husband is always on work trips, so I don't get to run without the kids that often, and we don't have a treadmill. So running is not the way I've maintained losing weight. It's called HIIT training, and I will do a whole nother video on HIIT training. Now, I don't follow an exact science of HIIT training, but here is how I, was, I would suggest setting up your workouts. And this is what I do for myself, for my clients, and then I will link down below some other workouts that I've been doing live recently that you can follow that also follows this style. So say we are working our biceps. I would like, this is what I normally do, I will do opposing muscle groups again, so biceps, then I put in a tricep workout, and then I do a plyometric. A plyometric is some sort of jumping, high energy burn, burst move. So squat jumps, plyo lunges, curtsy lunges, jumping. You can even do jumping jacks. Jumping jacks are perfectly fine. So then I add in a plyometric. And the reason for that is now you are using a lot of energy, a lot of muscles are working. Like I said, remember, lower body burns a lot of energy. So you want to use that lower body. If I was just sitting there doing biceps, doing triceps, then biceps again, and triceps, I'd get done with 30 minutes and I'd be like, well, that was easy. Nothing, just, I mean, you would still get a good workout, but you're not burning the fat on top of it. You're not sweating the way you should be sweating. So I highly recommend you do your, about two exercises and then you throw in a plyometric. And so huh, maybe it's my little secret and I don't wanna tell all my secrets. No, I'll tell you guys. I like to do supersets as well. So jot that down. Supersets, what is a superset? A superset is like what I just told you. You do not stop. You go 30 minutes straight. You do not stop, ladies, okay? So I'm working my biceps. It takes me 15 reps. I work my triceps. It takes me 15 reps. I go to my squat jumps. It takes me 20 squat jumps. I go back to biceps. I don't rest. I go back to triceps. And you do that for three or four rounds, whatever you can fit. So. I would write about three of these supersets and put it in a plan. 
all right? Every time you do a superset, it's gonna take you, if you go through it three times, and depending if it's a compound movement or you're doing one arm at a time, one leg at a time, it might take you a little longer, but generally, for every superset you do, Every round of the superset will take about three minutes, and then the whole superset, if you do it three times, will take you nine minutes. Isn't that lovely, the math right there? So you just got a fat-burning, muscle-building workout in nine minutes. Jot that down, jot that down. Yes, so this is how I train myself, and I train all my clients. And this is the method I actually used to train for fitness competitions. Yes, so, and now that is at a, at a bigger scale, but I'm telling you ladies, you want to add HIT into your daily workouts. So if you don't have a treadmill, you can't get out and run, it's okay, add HIT. I'm telling you, you'll be dripping in sweat and it'll be glorious. So now that you got those tips, you can start working on your plan and then you're like, well, how long do I do this? What do I do? How do I know when to change? Okay, so step number six, really, fitness journal for 12 weeks. So then you're gonna to wanna to write in your fitness journal. So say your workout is bicep curls, tricep extensions, and squat jumps. How many bicep curls can you get in with your dumbbell? Now if you're at a gym and you have multiple weights and you make it to 20 reps without a burn, then you're gonna to wanna to go up in a heavier weight. If you are at home and you have only 10 pound dumbbell, then how many reps does it get before it burns? Write that down in your journal when you do it. And then the next time, how many reps till it burns? Just keep note of that. I want you to keep note, and if you need to add more reps, add a few more reps. Now we're not, if it's over 20, do not add more reps, okay? There is more science behind what you, how you should change these exercises up. And as you get through this first workout that you write yourself, we will touch on how to change it up again and the other things you should look at. But if you have the means to go out and buy another set of dumbbells, by all means, go for it. Go buy another set of dumbbells. So now when you're writing in your journal, as the weeks go by, maybe now that 10 pound dumbbell you got all the way to 15, and at first you started at eight really burned. Well, if it takes you to 15, you make sure you go to 15. That's how you're gonna change your workout up as you keep going. And I highly recommend that you try to keep, if you do write the workouts, your five days a week workouts, keep track on the same page for a few weeks, and then if you have to flip to a new page, go ahead, do that again, or print it out and make yourself a lot of columns that shows the change of reps. Actually, I think I have a printout, so I'll link down below because I believe I have some fitness printouts that you guys can download and print for yourself to write your workouts in. Okay, so that's how you're gonna change up your workout. So your workout will gradually change with you as you get better and better. Maybe you only can get five squat jumps in and 15 of your squat jumps are just regular squats. Would you write that in? Like I couldn't jump for 20 reps, so I only jumped for five and I squat for 15. But next week you might be able to jump for six and squat for 14, right? That's how you're changing. We know you're going to progress. We know your body is getting stronger, yes. So. I know, all jokes aside here, but it's the truth. You're getting stronger, so you wanna take note of that because these are the kind of things you're not really gonna notice if you just go to your workout and just do the same thing over and over and you're not tracking it. So you wanna track these workouts. And then on top of the tracking, every month, another photo. Front, side, side, back. Another set of tape measurements. Chest, waist, belly button, hips, thighs, whatever another set of weight. That's where you're gonna see the changes. The first month you might not see that many change, but month number two when you look back, you're gonna see some change. And then month three when you look back, you're gonna see some change. And after you do this for three months, then you can change your plan. Say so maybe I can go a little bit more advanced. Maybe I can change some of these exercises. Maybe I actually have more time that I can give to working out, so I'm gonna add a little bit more in my day. And that is how you do it, ladies. It's really not that hard. It takes a little bit of brain power. It takes a little bit of research, but I believe that you can do it. 
And on my channel, there is a busy mom workout plan. These are some supersets that I started. So if you need um, a shortcut, I guess, to your workout plan, you can go ahead over there and see my busy mom workouts. And then I also have a stay at home or I also have a stuck at home live workouts that I've been doing. You can go and take some notes and cheat a little bit and steal some of those. Those are absolutely for you guys. And if you have any more questions, please comment down below. I'm here to help you guys. I love helping you guys. And this is what this community is all about, empowerment, and you can do it. I believe in you, so you need to believe in yourself. But as always, stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Mahalo for joining me. Aloha.